Disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by nor am I affiliated with any of the companies mentioned in this video. All opinions represented are mine and mine alone. They do not represent anyone besides myself. Your opinions may differ. That's okay. Try this stuff out for yourself in order to find out if it works for you. Hi, everyone. This is Krista speaking. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And if not, welcome for the very first time. Today, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the February Art Snacks for 2019. I have high hopes because Art Snacks is usually pretty good. And let's get started. I will be doing the actual opening process off camera so you don't have to hear me struggle with the packaging because that noise is kind of annoying, at least to me. I did just get it today and I rushed to get the camera and everything set up so I could film it today. Very excited about this. I know it was a little later than normal because of the below zero weather, the sub-zero weather that the Midwest had, but it's here and let's get it open. This is our cute little sticker for the month with a little Art Snacks logo. This one has hearts on it, I'm assuming for Valentine's Day. Got a lot of little rainbow collars there, it's really cute. The snacks part of this month's box is Smarties. I love Smarties, yay! Smarties are awesome. Not expecting you to be able to read this, but we also have our little bookmark that says every single item that is in here. If you're wondering why I sound more hyper or excited than normal, I also grabbed a cup of coffee when I grabbed the box. So yeah, caffeine, yay! And I haven't got to any of the items that are actually in the box yet, but there is also a coupon for Faber-Castell products on faber-castell.com with, with the code ARTSNACKS19. And da -da -da. it is good until December 31st, 2019, so you got a pretty good amount of time to use it. So if there's anything from Faber-Castell that you were thinking you needed, you got a code now, you're welcome. The first item that is in this month's box is a Zebra Delgard Mechanical Pencil in 0.5 millimeters and is normally $6.99 retail price. Spring into action with the Zebra Delgard Mechanical Pencil. This pencil takes away the frustration of broken lead thanks to its double spring mechanism. The spring absorbs pressure and allows the lead to retract, making breakage nearly impossible. Stocked with plenty of HB lead and extra refills, you'll be enjoying a you'll, sorry, you'll experience a precise and enjoyable writing experience with this tool. This right here is the extra lead. I will be putting this in a special place since I had a lead issue with an art, with a sketch box before, where I got a mechanical pencil with no lead. This one has extra lead. We are going to put this someplace special so I don't lose it. And this right here is just a better look at the pencil itself. It's pretty lightweight, which is kind of good. And we will see. Yep, lead is right See, there. lead. This one doesn't have a retractable sleeve either. Just plain old lead. Normal looking mechanical pencil. Other side, we have a nice little eraser like normal. I just pull that off, opens right up. Cool. And I am going to apologize. That squeaky noise you hear is just me moving in my chair. So can't really do much about that. The next item we have in the Art Snacks box for February is a set of five Rembrandt soft pastels. February is a month of pastels because for the sketch box I, for February, I got oil pastels. These are probably going to be more like chalk pastels since it says soft pastels. And these are new to Art Snacks and it is also an exclusive first look. Rembrandt soft pastels have been the most commonly used pastels on the world for many years. And now Art Snackers are getting an exclusive first look at some new sets. Your set of five compatible hues feature intense pure color and the highest degree of light fastness. Due to being produced with kaolin, and extra fine clear china clay. These pastels have a velvety softness perfect for layering techniques. 
Okay, cool. Um, I got the set in Storm Grays, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of wanting more color than this. It Did other people get color, or did you guys get gray too? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't think I'm gonna have any color in this box. That's kind of a bummer, because I like working with color a lot, but we'll just have to see what I can do. And I just realized that I forgot to say the price for the pastels. It is $9.95 retail for the set. And this right here is why we got that fabric castell code, because we got a fabric castell item in the box. And this is a fabric castell white pit artist pen, 1.5 millimeter bullet nib and it is 360 retail. This one is a staff favorite. Filled with opaque white India ink, this Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen will be a staple in your supply stash. Waterproof, permanent, and extremely light fast, India ink is a popular choice among artists. It stands out beautifully on dark paper and is great for adding highlights. You could even try it out on top of pastels to achieve a soft blended look or effect. That's good. I've never used this before and that should be nice because usually I use gel pens for highlights or white paint. This will be a good replacement possibly for the white gel pens because it's light fast and light fast is better. And here is just a closer look at the pen itself. I'm also going to open it up so you guys can get a better idea of the thickness of it. it is a little bit chunkier than I might like to use for highlights, but I think it'll work pretty well. We'll find out. And I know you guys aren't going to be able to read this easily just because of the way the packaging is, but we have another Faber-Castell item in here. We have a Faber-Castell kneaded eraser. I'm actually happy about this because I needed a new kneaded eraser. Uh, the retail price for this is 75 cents. Introducing the perfect artist's tool, the kneaded eraser. This eraser doesn't wear down or leave behind residue, so it lasts much longer than other erasers. Start warming up your new eraser by pulling and folding its body. Mold it into whatever shape you need to pick up extra pastel pigments or add highlights to your work. To clean, restretch, and knead the eraser into itself. Nothing fancy, but definitely necessary for pastels. Okay, my dumb ass almost threw this out because I thought it was just a piece of cardboard. I'm wrong because I was looking frantically for the bonus item in this month's box and that is Stonehenge Craft Paper by Legion Paper. They like using Legion for smart snacks, don't they? So I'm assuming this is our bonus item because when I read the description, I went, wait a minute. I was expecting it to be like one of these where you can't really see that. Expecting it to look more like this, like one of the little mini sketch pads they've given us in the previous boxes. You don't really need to see it that well. But that's what I was expecting. This looks like a piece of cardboard and I almost threw it away. Uh, the description for this is inspired by the industrial look of paper grocery bags. Stonehenge craft paper features 100% cotton, earth-toned surface perfect for your new pastels. If you enjoy this paper, full-size pads are available for purchase in the art snack shop. This definitely has a rough side, it has a smoother side. I, <laughs> I was looking around, freaking out, trying to figure out where the heck the paper pad was, but I think it's this. Good job, Krista, good job. And here is just a shot of everything that came in this pack, well, pack, in the Art Snacks box for February. I'm gonna say the joke, and once you hear a joke about paper, never mind, it's terrible. They have it spelled T-E-A-R-A-B-L-E instead of T-E-R-R-I-B-L-E. I should really just start typing out the jokes instead of saying them and just putting it randomly in the video. Because I feel like it's lost 
when I say it because you can't you can't tell unless I explain it and that kind of defeats the purpose. Alrighty. So price wise, we have the Zebra Delgard Mechanical Pencil. Once again, that is $6.99. $9.95 for the pastels. $3.60 for the white India ink bullet pen from Faber Castell. And the eraser is 75 cents. So 7, 10, 17, basically, plus 360. So that's like, mm. so if I'm being generous, this is like 22 or $23. I'm rounding up a little bit. Um, price wise, this box is not as good of a deal as previous boxes. I've noticed that that's been kind of happening the past couple months, and I do find that slightly disappointing, personally. Because, I mean, part of the joy of doing this is to try out new materials. That's always great. But I also like feeling like I get, I'm getting a deal. It's probably like the Midwestern person inside of me. I want to get a deal. I like shopping sales. But it is what it is, ma'am. That's all there is to it. And I think I'm not going to just test out the materials. I think I'm just going to jump in. I have no idea what I'm going to try to draw yet, but I'm definitely going to try to use this paper that they gave me. I'll be using the rough side of it because that usually works a little bit better for pastel. You want to have that grip with chalk pastel for sure. I'll figure it out. We will be starting the project part of this video now as soon as I figure out what the heck I'm doing so I actually remembered to use painter's tape y'all should be proud of me I am just taping it to the back of a sketchbook book that I have so eh, whatever it works this one this box is not my favorite art snacks box and it's not that the items individually are bad it's the combination of the items together I will say some of my headaches could have been avoided by actually swatching the different items and then testing that India ink marker over the pastels first I thought that the pastels were going to be on a spectrum of gray like from a light to a dark that's not exactly what I got, and it just ended up getting kind of frustrated. I did start by putting a layer of pastel down to begin with. As you can see, I have two different shades of gray right there. I did try using the brown that came in this set, and honestly, I ended up covering it because I just, it didn't work. It didn't work with what I'm trying to do, and it just doesn't work with the colors. They would have been better off adding in a white pastel or a black pastel. I actually end up using the mechanical pencil for a lot of the shading to get a little bit more depth because it was impossible to do with the pastel set for me. And I was inspired by the name of the pastel set. I just am trying to do some stormy clouds with some lightning, which I was really trying to step out of my box for doing that. I very, very rarely paint clouds or draw clouds and I don't think I've ever really done lightning except for like cartoony lightning so I was trying to do something different with some different materials so it was worth the attempt with that. I should have left some of the paper showing through and should have maybe pop I should have done something else. I shouldn't have used the gray all over like it was charcoal. I once again was under the assumption that I would have all the tones I needed with the grays here and I just didn't. I will say the pastels are really nice and soft and blendable and I am using a blending stump to help blend it out a little bit. I tried to use as many of the gray pastels that there were. Once again that brown just didn't work with what I was doing so it just ends up getting covered up. And they do layer pretty well. There isn't any issues with that and the paper takes it pretty well. I honestly don't think it's anything to do with the quality of the products in the, this Art Snacks. I just think the combination 
didn't work and I just couldn't think of a way to make it work with this. Which could just honestly be a lack of skill or imagination on my part. And here I am using the white marker to do some lightning. And it worked pretty well over the pastels for a little while because I do want to point out in the instructions it does explicitly say that you can use it over the pastels. The problem is after a while it just stopped working over it. And there was a point, don't press very hard with this marker because I ended up pressing the nib into the marker and I had to end up pulling it out to bring it back and that kind of made it more complicated and I was trying to use that white for shading like it says that you can to lighten up the pastels and I also blended over it with my blending stomp like I said there was an issue with the white marker being able to layer over it anymore so I do end up grabbing a white pastel a Prismacolor one to make this drawing look at least semi-presentable. This is definitely not one of my favorite drawings. I actually kind of hate it. it. The process was just really frustrating for me. And like I said, this could just be my fault. And there is the white pastel that I bring in to at least get some shading so it doesn't look as flat. So in conclusion, the pastels themselves work really well, they blend well, they layer up well, I just didn't care for the coordination of the colors that were picked for the set. The mechanical pencil works pretty well, it's a normal mechanical pencil. I did break the lead, even though it says it's nearly unbreakable, but you know, that's just what happens. The kneaded eraser works exactly like a kneaded eraser should. The marker works well when there isn't the pastel underneath and it worked well up to a certain saturation point. It could just be that the layering of the pastels didn't work all together. This is definitely my least favorite art snacks box that I've ever gotten. For some reason just the combination of materials did not work for me. If I was going to do it again I would definitely leave some blank spots and let the paper shine through. Especially where I am trying to use that white marker. I would definitely not use it over the pastel to the extent I did. I wouldn't have laid down that base layer and I would have definitely swatched the colors so that I could know what they'd look like. So that way I would know sooner if I needed to pull in other materials to make it work a little bit better. I would also possibly just try to do a different kind of drawing. Maybe not do the stormy skies. But hey, let me know if you guys got this box and what you did with it and how you made what came inside work for you. I really want to know what kind of techniques and everything that you guys did. I might be able to learn something from you guys and what you did and how you made it work. So once again, just let me know. I want to learn how to use these things a little better. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you disliked this video, hit that dislike button. If you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And hopefully I hear from you guys soon, and you'll definitely hear from me in about a week. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this.